Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura and today is Floss Tube and it is Floss Tube 47 and today is November 10th 2020. I never thought we'd get this far and it's nine something in the morning. So how is everybody doing? I have to scooch back in my chair and I got all my stuff around me. Got my coffee. Gotta have coffee. Oh, yeah, what a day. Not as upsetting as yes, not upsetting. Yesterday wasn't upsetting. It was just a little off my routine. So, yeah, here we are. It's been a week. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. I mean, it, it feels like the whole week went totally slow, and here we are again. It's like. It's been a week in the world and everything else and <coughs> unbelievable. And we worked on a few things. Yeah, we worked on a few things, just a few things. And it's been kind of a, an obsessive week. I'm going to set this over here for right now. We'll get to that in a second. What did we work on? Oh my goodness. Well, let's see if we can just go day for day. So, well, except for one thing. So, the first thing that we worked on, we don't have much to show you this week. I only have three, six, seven projects. Seven projects. So, yeah. The first thing that I worked on was Elemental Dragons by Ink Circles. It's so pretty. I just love it. And it's done on 14 count, I think it's 14 count Meyer by Picture This Plus, and I didn't take it out of its thing. Of course, you, you, I'm never ready. Never, never, never ready. But I like these for this project. This is 14 count Meyer by Picture This Plus. I just love this fabric. It's 14, yeah. I had to make sure it was 14. But isn't that pretty fabric? Just gorgeous. I know, my project's way down there, and it's really small. Yeah, this is like the creepy crawly project when I just feel like just stitching. But, and sorry, I don't iron things. Yeah, I just don't. And my red thread. Um, Red thread is... I always get it wrong, so I'm going to go look. Oh, please. 817 by DMC. It matches my shirt. Yep. So, this is all that we got done. We got a few. We're getting closer to the top of the first page. And it's not a page. Like, this is half of the first page. Does that make sense? So, there's going to be the other half going in this direction. It'll be that much more wide. So it's not very big. I just can't focus. Some days it's comfort stitching, and some days it's so not. Yeah. And then we did Consider the Lilies by Beth Twist and Heartstring Samplery. Love this pattern. Just absolutely adore it. But can I get very far? No. Yeah, this is one of those lifetime things. I'll be working on this for another 5-10 years. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Oops, sorry for the glare. But everybody knows what it looks like. i uh, just set that aside because the piece of fabric that I have is huge. It is 14 count country French latte. And I'm using the called for colors. It has a DMC conversion. So... I don't have too much done on this. I started doing the... This is how wide it's going to actually be. Yeah, it's huge. Gigantous. But as you can see, we're, we're down in that corner. And it's inside out. Of course it is. So I have this great big huge piece of country fr French latte. Oh, drop on the floor. Seriously. I know, it takes me longer to get this stupid fabric folded up than it does to actually show you. So, 
we're just working on this. There's a bouquet. I can't do that. Okay. I have to scooch up. Sorry. Oh, seriously. It's just being a poop today. I'm trying to get a hold of it all so I can hang on to it. Yep. Yeah. I don't have a, a cardboard like everybody else, but we're working on that little pot of flowers right there. No, I haven't worked on the the uh, border on this at all. I just got it as wide as I needed it to get, but it's going to be huge. And it is. It's kind of a big pattern. Don't know. I'll have to have a custom frame. Either that or I'll go to my son and see if he has like a miter. I've made frames, so... Um, he, if he has a like miter saw or one of those, I can't think what it's called, but it's the one you cut the angles with. That, isn't that a miter saw? My late boyfriend had one, and he made me several, uh, several frames. So, yeah. So I may have to have someone make me a frame. Don't know where we're gonna hang it, but you know, maybe I'll hang it in my bedroom. In if and when and I'll be in the nursing home by the time it's done. <coughs> and then we worked on I worked on Circus of the Hearts and there's something rotten in Denmark on it. So hey. This is Yale Crow by Heart and Hand kind of turn him he's kind of crooked on the thing but I changed out all the colors as you know for the lettering I am using 111 which is like an ombre color and I'm using oh two or three colors for the pumpkin I don't know that I can get a hold of them all oh, for pity's sake For the pumpkin, I am using 740, 900, and then I have this weird fab or fabric thread by, um, I believe it's J.P. Coates. I got it at Walmart, and it was in a bag, and they had like some rainbow colors, if you will, like red, yellow, blue, green, purple. All in variegated, so I and it came in a bag. That that's what we're using, but that's my pumpkin, and I think there's a darker red there. I just oh here it is, and the last one for the pumpkin is is it's all screwed up. Nine one nine, so that's the dark part of the pumpkin, and I'm going to use that part for like accents in this. So yeah, let me show you the piece. Hang on. I have like 900 hoops now because Laura got crazy and, and went and bought some. But not not recently, but I just bought like 12 at one time. And then I bought 12 more here. And then I bought like three or four at Walmart. So this is all we got done on it. I'm just folded so it you don't shine through it. But that's all I've got done. So we did a little bit of the lettering, and that's as far as I've gotten. And then I'm going to use that darker, darker, it's like a a dark, bittersweet orange, if you will. Maybe with a little more red tone in it. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I've still got some more of the pumpkin to do, and there's a bunch of little hoopties in there and like vines and stuff. So I don't know what color I'm going to use for that, but that's all we got done on that. You know, I take forever on little things as much as I do the big ones. So I guess it's because I just don't sit down and do it, you know. It is what it is. Okay, sweet summer. Come again. Blackbird Designs. I love this design. I just, I'm in love with this book. Well, this is just a little pamphlet, but I love Blackbird. Just absolutely love the style. Let me turn it around. This is what it's supposed to look like, and we're working on this one right here. As you know, 
Don't know that mine's going to look like that. I may make it something round. I have no idea. Haven't gotten that far. So, I'm just going to leave it in its thing because that's right where the pattern is. And it's done on 16 count Regency from Picture This Plus. And I'm using the call for except in the basket because I changed it out. But I'm thinking it's looking really good. It's got a bunch of little doodads around everything. And if I could just finish the strawberries, there's that part one. And then there's one more right here. So there's seven strawberries. So I've almost finished the strawberries on it. So, And then there's bunches of white flowers. I don't know. I don't know that you can see that. But you can see there's the doodads, you know, around it. So I have all that little bitty stuff to do. So, yeah, it's coming along. A lot faster than I would have expected. Okay, and then uh, la, 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 la. we did cardinal points. By it's a collaboration of Gentle Arts and Julia Line from Long Dog Samplers. I love this pattern, but, you know, it's getting on my last nerve. It might be just a picture on the wall at the rate I'm going. Because I just, I can't get into it. And these are all the beautiful colors that that I picked to go with this. Just because I went with the, you know, what it looked like on the, the page. But, yeah, it's got, like, all these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. It's just not happening. What the hell? I, I wish I knew. I just cannot get past the corner. And it's done on 16 count. Whoops, I don't want to lose those because those are the threads that I'm... More beautiful threads. More beautiful threads. I'm just keeping it there. I just... I don't know. Between it and hoity-toity, I should have just left them right where they were. And I've had this pattern since May-ish. Somewhere in there. May, April-ish. And this is all I've gotten done. I just cannot do this. I just... I don't know. So we may save this material for something else. Because it's just not... I'm just not feeling it, so I may just pack it all up and put it at the back of my piles. So, whoops. I don't know. And it's not nearly as complicated as Ann Thomas with hand, my hands across the sea. But it's just irritating. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. And... The next thing that I worked on was three things. Moya, Moya, uh, Moya Blackburn. Three things sampler. And it's supposed to be like... It's not a reproduction sampler. It's just in the style of a antique sampler. So, yeah. We did this yesterday. This is 16 count... And I like working on this every once in a while. i uh, get a wild hair and and do it. So that's kind of why I, I work on it. So hang on. I'm trying. I did get all the, the border done on it. But not this week. I, I started doing the border. And it's got these tiny little flowers all the way down. Yeah. And they're quite cute. I just love this. And I like it because it has so many different things on it. And they're not all, like, hands across the sea, they do things that are shaded. This isn't like that. You know, it, it's got separate colors for everything, which is fine. So I really got to be in the mood to work on it. But it's nice fabric to work on. Sorry, I'm losing my spit. So, yeah. 
so we started on the deer. This deer is encased in this little square. There's like grass stuff underneath it. And then these flowers like this come down on both sides. So, yeah, that's all I've gotten done on that. But it, it's coming along. It, it's another comfort stitch. I can open it up and go, okay, I'll work in that part. I'll work in that part. Yeah, some days. But I do love the material. It's kind of a, a parchment-looking material. I don't know if you can tell. But it's nice and mottled. Just beautiful. Beautiful fabric. And it goes well with antique looking things. I wanted it to look antique and old. You know, they'll be surprised when it says 2042 on it, you know. Yeah. Some things. We got lots of stuff. Now, I had a magnificent obsession this week. I was bound and determined. So. And guess what? I still didn't finish it. This has been my project every day this week. I've tried to work on this. And as you know, my nether nemesis is Christmas Garden by Blackbird Designs. I just love this, and I want it done. So, yeah. So, here's the story, and I'm sticking to it, okay? It's on 16 count, country French, Mocha, la mocha. Country French. Cafe Mocha. Country French Cafe Mocha. It's the one from Winchlet. And I've got it inside out. Okay, of course I do. I probably had it right and then I moved it. So, all this week, I've been trying desperately to get this stupid border done. I'm trying to get it so it's all standing up right. And I'll get back. So, I got that far on the border. And then I went, oh, look, I can do that. That that motif. Yeah, that motif. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had that side, that side, and that side. Well, this side's too close to that, of course, because of all this over here we don't even want to talk about. And so, I'm moving. I frogged all this out. i got to get closer. I frogged this out and redid it. And now I'm going to see where it comes to down at the bottom. And I may or may not have to move this, but I do have to move this over just like one. I'm telling you, I cannot win with this thing. It's just, I love it, but damn, really? And I abandoned the center because, yeah. I couldn't handle it anymore. I had to go do something else. So that's why I started working on this. So I went all the way from about here, where these ended, all the way down, working on the border. And my luck, the border isn't going to match up. But, you know, we're just not going to talk about it. We're not going to think about it. We're just, yeah. So I worked on it every day this week. Every day. That was as much as I could handle. So, I don't know. It may or may not. I don't know. So, we'll see. But that, that is everything that I want. Oh, so, then, as you know, not last week. I don't think it was this week. Maybe. Can I? Can I? Thank you. So, I got another wild hair. So, I have blue and I have white yarn. I have more someplace else, but I'm not sure where it's at. So, blue and white was all I could find. So, I started making a granny square, full size. Yeah. It's going to be one whole thing until the thread runs out, period. You know, I if I don't make it around, I'm doing two... As you can see, two rounds per color. So if it doesn't make it on the last one, I'll just rip it back and that'll be the end of it. But we're just using it until until we get it. But 
yeah, I've done this in one week. Just going around, going around, because I can do this, close my eyes, and crochet. I don't have to think about it. So, this is half of it. I don't know. You can't see at the bottom of it. That's half. So, it, it's it's fairly big. It's Right now, it's it almost goes to the floor covering my my feet almost within four or five inches so we'll have to see how big it's going to be I just I don't know I do this I had no plans to do it I just get it out and I just crochet just crochet I looked at a couple of people that did uh, that do crochet patterns and stuff and like I said, I wanted to do it in a shell, and yeah, no, that was going to use up too much yarn, so I just, and this I can do, I don't have to think about it, you just go around and around and around and around, yeah, comfort crocheting, we have comfort crocheting now, so, yeah, that is all that I worked on this week, it's just been a week, I don't know what's wrong with me, I've been tired, I've been not tired, I think it's like the combination of cold weather and the time change. It's just driving me ballistic. So, yeah. Just, yeah. So I have no idea what I'm going to work on next week. I do know that we're going to start the ornament sale on Sunday. So, get ready for that, everybody that's joining in or just watching, hey, you can be a spectator. I, it makes no never mind to me. If you'd like to, you can, you know, be able to click on that. You, If you're following me on um, Instagram, I almost said YouTube, then sure, that that's fine. And if you're working on a different type of project, I want to see it. I really do. I think this is going to be fun, and we're going to do this for 12 months, and... Yeah, we'll see where we're at in February, okay? No, I'm just kidding. Um, no. And I'm going to, I personally, I'm going to fully finish mine by the month so that they're all done. By the time we hit December of next year. And we won't have to do any ornaments in the month of December. I know. it. There will be like 10,000 new patterns next year. I don't know what they're going to do about the uh, the market thing. Uh, what is it called? Oh my goodness. You know, they did it in March. Nashville Market. I don't know what is going to happen to Nashville Market. Not a clue. I, I just don't know. God, the wind is blowing horrible out there. It's like 26 degrees. That's why I have my sweater on today. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen for Nashville Market and how they're going to do it, but it'll be different. Uh, I I just, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But I'm sure everybody will have all kinds of beautiful things that they're working on, and they always do, and they never disappoint. So last year was my first time to see stuff for, at the Nashville Market. Thanks to uh, Gary Parr and uh, Vonna Pfeiffer who went and they were every day they were talking to somebody else or two or three somebody else's, you know, different designers and stuff. And I think it's fascinating to see how their mind, not not Gary and Vonna, but how the, the creator's minds work and what they work on. I watched, um, I know, it was a sparkly squirrel. Did you see him go by? He, he just went, yeah. Um, Rolodex Stitchers today, and she has a massive BAP, big, big pro project, huge, and it's some kind of tapestry from Northern, Northern Expressions. I went to go look, and I can't find that pattern, so I don't know where she got it, you know, I don't know if it's old or new or anything, but it is gorgeous, but she, I think, is doing it, don't quote me on this, on Ada. So, yeah. But evidently it's huge. So she might be using 14 or 16 count Ada. I have no idea. But it's beautiful. It's just a, something in teal. 
but yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, that's me. Got, give me one, give me one. No, couldn't find it. So, but if you get a chance, go and, and check that out. But it's her, it's her lifetime project, and she's in her 40s, so she might finish it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I have lots of lifetime projects, so. I just work on them a little bit at a time and not push it, and I'm trying to be calm. Well, I was just obsessed with Christmas Garden last week. I was going to finish it come our high water. So, yeah. No, not so much. I got tired of doing it because it was repetitious. <coughs> and after you've done it so many times, you know there's 11 stitches here and 5 stitches here or 6 stitches here and do this this way. So, and then I kept, I'd go back to the pattern and I'd count how many were supposed to be down. And then I counted on the material and then I forget what it was that I counted on the pattern. So I need to write that down. I think it's 17 that they're down. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it's going, but I'm just kind of working around things and trying to manipulate them. So we'll see how it goes. We'll just see. But I do love that pattern. I love Blackbird. But yeah, if I had to do it over, which I'm not going to do over, uh, I like everybody has suggested, and even Laura and or Brenda and the serial starter, Laura um, suggested do the do the frame. So I've had several people say that. Do the the frame first, and then go from there. Yeah. So. But I just can't stick with the frame. Sorry, my eye itches. But, uh, yeah. So, other than the Christmas ornaments, Al, I don't know how and where it's going to go. Uh, I did put a hashtag. I hope it works. And it's hashtag 12. Now, this is all written together, capitalizing each one of the words. 12 month. Christmas ornament sow on uh, Instagram. So we will see. So you'll either be posting to that or you'll be posting on my um, Instagram, which is all one word, lowercase, all of it is stitchin, S T I T C H I N W I T H. L O R A on Instagram. It's all one word. So if you follow me, I will turn around and follow you back so that everybody can be on the same page. If the, the hashtag doesn't work, I don't know about how. I still haven't really figured it out. I just typed it in and hoped. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I really do want to see all your projects and your progress and what you're doing and and everything else. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff coming up to be seen in the next 12 months. We're going to do this, people. We got this. All right, guys. I think that is about it. Molly's over here in her little... I don't know if you can see her. She's on curl. Can you see her? Molly. Yep, she's right there. She knows. Oops, sorry. My bad. My bad. Don't mess it up. So, I think that's all I've got, guys. I would love to see and hear about what you've been working on this past week. And I know some of the my subscribers are trying to finish things up so that they can start on the, the sales. And people have told me and sent me Instagrams of, you know, what, what their ornaments or what their... Let's say they're going to be like wall hangings, if you will. You know, um, some people are doing like a month, I don't know how to explain it, monthly thing. So every month they will do like a month on their their wall hanging. I think that's great too. Whatever y'all want to do, whatever you want to do, I think that will work. All right, guys, we will see you next time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. 
and that way you will know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I know, I gotta go to work. Two to ten. Oh, well, I mean two to eight. Um, two to nine. Wow, we're getting there. Yeah, see, we had a time change and then work change, and yeah. It's no wonder I can't stay awake. Alright, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep stitching, and God bless. Bye-bye.